Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So on my last ornament video, um, where I did the acrylic pour on ornaments, using my usual Artist Loft Flow Acrylics mixture with Flow Troll and everything. Um, and if you didn't see that, I'll put the link down in the description so you can check it out. But someone suggested that I do some with the Artist Loft Ready Mixed Pouring Paint. And in case you don't know what this is, um, it's sold by Michaels. Artist Loft is a Michaels brand. And um, it's basically pre-mixed pouring paint. You don't need to add anything. You just, right out of the bottle, you can use it. Um, this stuff also, as another note, dries very glossy. It is not the cheapest. Um, it's about 15 bucks a bottle, but if you are smart and use your coupons, like I used my 40% off coupon um, to order all of these online, so I got 40% off of all of them, makes it much more affordable. And I thought it would look super cool on these. All right, so let's get started. I'm using the plastic ornament bulbs also from Michaels, and I get these a box of 25 uh, for 20 bucks, but also once again, I use my coupon. So I get like 50% off. Um, last year, I just stocked up on a whole bunch of them. It was $10 for the things of 25. So you take your little metal piece out. This is a piece of foam from the dollar store with some popsicle sticks in it. I have parchment paper under here to catch any excess runoff. I'm going to do three bulbs today. I'm gonna to do two as a dirty pour and one as a clean pour. So I generally like to do kind of rainbow colors, but for this, we're gonna just use white, blue, and purple. You do not need a lot. Um, max maybe like an ounce and a half to cover these and if you do it as a dirty pour I've found that it's a lot easier to get coverage than as a clean pour so but I'll show you both here all right I'm almost out of that white but luckily I just bought some more Michael's all over the place has been selling out of this paint because I guess everyone just really wants to try it. All right. Okay, that should be good. So we'll go ahead and we'll do the first couple. I find it best to basically start in the middle here and pour as if you were doing a tree ring. So basically pour in a circle. And you can even stop before you think you're done and come back to it, especially if you're doing more. Let's go ahead and start this one, just so we don't, you know, put more paint on there than we need to. Awesome. Okay, I'm gonna add a little more to this first one. Cause there's definitely not enough paint there. And you do not have to go in any particular pattern for however you want. All right, so that is looking like full coverage. So we're gonna get started on this last one here while those continue to run down. And this one, like I said, I'm gonna do it as a clean pour. So I'm gonna pour the colors on there one at a time. Um, I'm gonna use the same colors so we can see kind of a clear difference. I am almost out of that purple too, but just opening up Oh my goodness, I just realized something. I just bought a new white. I realized it's the metallic white, actually. It's not the regular white. Whoops. <laughs> All right, so this last one is going to get some metallic white. So same procedure, except you're going to pour one color on there at a time and pour super slow. Otherwise, you can easily overdo it on the amount of paint. I am going to speed this part up because it does take a while. All right, so I think I got as close to full coverage on that one as I'm going to. Um, so let's go ahead, and I'm gonna bring you down to the side for a side view here. So one of the cool aspects of this paint is it tends to not blend quite as much as my regular paints. 
So I'm kind of expecting these lines to maintain like that and for it to be super glossy shiny. I'm really curious how this one is going to turn out. Let's see. Yeah, I'm not sure if I got totally full coverage, but I think I did pretty good. So these will continue to run down um, and I'm gonna come back tomorrow. They should be dry then. And I'm thinking we probably don't even need to seal these because of the type of paint it is and it'll be all glossy. But we can go ahead and decide that tomorrow. So we'll be back. Oh my goodness, you guys. I just found my favorite thing to make ornaments with. I am sold. Look how cool that is. And these look like they're still wet because they're so glossy. So, oh my goodness, so pretty. Just total like marbled effect. So here's the first two. And then this one's the clean pour and even this I, I love. I do like the other two better, I'm not gonna lie, but even this I love. And I managed to get full coverage, which is pretty impressive. So yeah, I am 100% sold. Um, this is relatively expensive paint, but if you just compare, I mean, like you can totally see the difference and this one's sealed and this one's not. I probably will still seal it for longevity, but you can totally just see the difference in the lines and the, the brightness of the colors and everything. Um, so anyways, I would say that this stuff is not always worth it. So for like regular acrylic pours, like a flip cup, I wouldn't use this. But for certain applications like this, or maybe tree rings and stuff, it works great. And if you can use your coupons and get a good price on it, that's awesome. Um, I definitely recommend trying it. So let me know what you guys think. Thank you so much to Naptime Creations for this awesome suggestion. I'm so, so, so in love with these. So I'm going to go make about 100,000 more of these. <laughs> I will see you guys later.